Hello, I'm Christopher Andrew, the great, 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 great grandson of William Wordsworth, and I'm going to read There Was a Boy. There was a boy, ye knew him well, ye cliffs and islands of Winander. Many a time at evening, when the earliest stars began to move along the edges of the hills, rising or setting, would he stand alone beneath the trees or by the glimmering lake. And there, with fingers interwoven, both hands pressed closely palm to palm and his mouth uplifted, he, as through an instrument, blew mimic hootings to the silent owls that they might answer him. And they would shout across the watery vale and shout again, responsive to his call, with quivering peals and long halloos and screams and echoes loud redoubled and redoubled, concourse wild of jocund din. And when there came a pause of silence such as baffled his best skill, then sometimes in that silence, while he hung listening, a gentle shock of mild surprise has carried far into his heart the voice of mountain torrents or the visible scene would enter unawares into his mind with all its solemn imagery, its rocks, its woods, and that uncertain heaven received into the bosom of the steady lake. This boy was taken from his mates and died in childhood, ere he was a full 12 years old. Preeminent in beauty is the vale where he was born and bred, the churchyard hangs upon a slope above the village school. And through that churchyard, when my way has led on summer evenings, I believe that there a long half hour together I have stood mute, looking at the grave in which he lies.